goodness. I still feel like I'm on that roller coaster ride of a match, Taylor Townsend, Layla Fernandez. Did you guys see that match? So amazing. I'm late to the party. Serana Kirstea taking on Mukova. I'm sorry, I forgot the match was on. I'm, I'm still celebrating Coco. I mean, look, Carolina, I love her game. Huge fan of her. Serana, at this point of her career, just to really, really show all of these players, she's still an elite player. But we tune in here. Serana getting some coaching here. Now, her coach is telling her, listen, come in. You're striking the ball well. Just come in for it. Serana pushes back and says, I'm pushing. I'm overhitting. There's no point of me to come in if I'm overhitting. It's a good point. Now, I, I agree with Serana. I think uh, I don't know if that's the best game plan because she she should have won at least three service games in that first set where she had the opportunity to close them out and made some mistakes. Muka was not making any mistakes. I don't know if I necessarily agree with Coates saying she needs to come in. I don't think so. Uh, I think Serana has to continue to play her game. I don't think her coming forward towards the net against a more athletic player. The I mean, have you seen Air Mokova jump in the air? I don't think Serana wants any part of that two-way play for Mokova. She's got to continue to baseline, uh, play the lines, in my opinion. Play the lines, force Mokova back. Mokova coming forward, is she's a vertical player, but she sets you up. And I said this in Cincinnati when she went on that run to the finals. This is what Mukova does. She'll do top spin. If she can't get the shot she wants, reset. Top spin, reset. Top spin, reset. So she's trying to hit winners off of the top spin. If it's not there, she resets and goes back to the top spin. And she's patient. She's disciplined. I don't think Serana can come forward towards the net and beat Mukova, but I think Serana's going to have to play the lines and just get a little bit more aggressive, forcing Mukova to go away from the topspin, because that's what Mukova does. She's a patient defensive player. She goes to the topspin. She'll try to hit a winner. If it's not there, she comes back and resets back to the topspin, try to hit a winner. That's really what she does. And Serana, I think Serana is, is right. There, there's no need to come forward if you're overhitting. It doesn't make sense, coupled with the fact that Mukova is a much better athlete. So I agree with Mukova, but I do think her coach is just trying to keep her confidence up by saying that she's hitting well. Because you want your player to understand that, look, you had a chance here. Just do a little better. But then again, you know, if Mukova's not buying what he's selling, then, you know, she could do off go off and do her own thing anyway. Now, here's what I don't think is good for Mukova. She takes a long bathroom break. That is not good. After you win the first set, six love, two bagels, guys. And these uh, semifinal first sets, What what is, uh, I'm sorry, quarterfinal first sets, what is that about? All right, this is where players normally play their best tennis. But I don't agree with the long bathroom break. After a dominant set like that, do not give your opponent more time to think. Get right into the second set and continue to jump on her. This match could be over. I don't like that idea. Now, Mukova arguing with the chair empire here. The chair empire acknowledging, look, you took too long on the bathroom break and you're taking too long between serves. Mukova saying the towels are too far. Now, listen, guys, let's be honest. These players, they're, they're not used to playing on Arthur Ashe, right? They're not used to these. Remember, guys, before the pandemic, we, ha we had ball kids that would bring the towels. Yeah, so the, the players have to walk to get their towels now. So, yes, they're kind of not used to it. But then on Ash, I talked about the side courts earlier when we had the Lord Sigmund Coco drama. Those towels are right there on the side court, right? Because you have the fans right on them. There, There's not all this extra green there on the side courts. It, it, there really isn't, right? Mukova saying, look, the towels are too far. I need more time. And this is why I said I'll give Laura the benefit of the doubt because she's used to playing on the side court. She's look, it's a long walk. It really is like the on the side courts. I can see the fans on the other side. I can see their faces. I can see what they're wearing here. You cannot. These courts are very wide. So she has a point there. Guys, can we go back to the ball kids bringing towels? Like, come on, this is ridiculous. But none again. But then again. I wear, I always wear uh, headbands to, to help the sweat, but I always wear wristbands as well. So Mukova wears wristbands. Use your wristbands for sweat. That's, that's what you wear them for, right? But Serana, can she get things started again? Looks like the chair empire. She's not having another night of drama. Not tonight.
Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host. Can Serana extend this match or her dream of making a Grand Slam semifinal could be slipping through the cracks? Tennis in a Minute. We'll be back. This is a good match, guys.